Welcome to part two of the portal gun modding tutorial. This is the code. It's actually very simple, much simpler than many of the other tutorials that I've done. We have a main function, and we have a function that happens when uh, an arrow hits, and we have a function that happens when a player moves. So we'll talk about those in just a moment. And then we have a function that builds a portal. That's the longest one, but it's actually probably one of the simplest because it just uses the drone to build up um, a portal. And the subtle and tricky thing is this set portal block function, which uses the um, hidden metadata feature of modding. First, let's dig in on the main function because that's where everything starts. So we start by setting up a few variables. Um, toggle is a variable. If you if you know the word toggle, then you know it means it's something that switches back and forth. And this is what switches um, between creating a red portal and a black portal. We'll see how that works in a minute. And we need two variables to know where the black portal location is and the red portal location. And then we set up the server so that whenever there's a projectile hit event, it runs our on hit function, which we'll look at in a moment. And just for convenience, we give the player a bow and arrow. We also set up the server so that when the player moves, it runs our on move function. So on hit and on move get called um, when certain events occur. And that's all that main does just sets everything up. So the player's ready to shoot with a bow and arrow, and we have events that are ready to trigger our functions whenever things happen in Minecraft. And we have a few variables to store uh, information as things happen. And that's all. Uh, that's all for the main function. In the next video, we'll talk about the onHit function and the onMove function.